Oh, you go pop the Somali girl. Take offense, don't take offense. Somali girl, I told you. Okay, why did we end up popping hers? She seems like a really nice person, but just, just not my speed. Okay, Sorry. and one more. So is uh, Miriam's. I know you end up popping her balloon. Why'd you end up popping hers? <laughs> um, not really my type. Mm -hmm. Um, it seems uh, mainly 34. I didn't, I didn't see that, but uh, I thought she was a little bit older. That's kind of why I popped. But okay. <laughs> <yeah>. embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now is Miriam someone that's your type? Uh, not at all. Okay, yeah. what? Today we got another pop the balloon for y'all. Apparently, there is a Somali girl, a 34-year-old Somali woman that hopped on this pop the balloon. And you can only imagine how controversial that can be, you know? And I've been there, done that, uh, with that community, with, Somali, with the Somali community, you feel me? So I'm gonna be reacting to this video. Uh, I love these videos, uh, but this time we're gonna be focusing on the Somali girl. One thing Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host certain. Arlette and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love and we've got some beautiful single ladies lined up. Make some noise ladies! Yeah. Yes! Okay, you guys look good and you sound good. Yes! Bringing out some single guys one by one. When they come around this corner, if he's your type, you're feeling him, you like everything, like do not pop your balloon. But if there's anything he said that's a red flag or you know, maybe it fits just not fitting, go ahead and pop your balloon and then I'll go over to a few of you, see why you ended up popped in. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. so with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, welcome in. How you doing? What's your name? I'm um, Scott. Scott, how old are you? Uh, I'm 32. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a truck driver and uh, I'm living in Houston right now. Okay, very nice. Now, uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Truck driver. Uh, play video games. Uh, They're gonna pop. I normally I'm work pretty much. Okay. Yeah, but other than that, playing video games. Got it. All right. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, understanding, uh, kind, uh, this a lady that's thing, like a real, because you know, we all not perfect, so hey, if you're real, I'm real, we can talk, we can understand each other, and that's it. Okay, now what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, not real, uh, <laughs> uh, I want to say, yeah, it's not real. Okay. He oh, seems very guy. close, yeah. though. Not too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All like... right. So we did get a few pop balloons. Let's I go heard. on over there, see uh, why they ended up popping. He just seemed like Start a nigga right that don't go here. We can have your name you know? and age. My name is Shayna, and I'm 30. Uh, nice and Shayna, what do you do? I'm an ultrasound tech, and I um, act on the side, too. Okay. And so why did you end up popping She's your balloon? Cute. So you seem like a very, very nice guy. Yeah. Um, I had to pop because you're a truck driver. You're on the road a lot. And the video games, I'm not sure how much you're into that. Yeah. Um, but you're very handsome, good looking. You seem very, very nice. So good luck. Uh, thank you. Thank great, you. great reasoning. All that's right. Beautiful. Now, is she someone that's your type? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I love the curly hair. It's natural. Thank you. you, thank know? you. Yeah. Pretty tea. Oh, pretty thank you. Finally, pretty we got tea. a moderator in the building. Yeah. Lyrics Perfect. is good. Thank you. Let's go on down here. We can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Misha and I'm 27. Um, the reason why... Oh, oh. Misha, what do you do? <laughs> so right now, um, I actually uh, manage a family business that's been operating for about 25 years. Nice. And why did you end up popping no your cap, balloon? So the reason why I popped um, was because right now I'm looking for somebody who can, you know, be there a little bit more. Um, the truck driving, you're on the road a lot, so that's that's the reason. But very good looking, and I hope you find somebody. Thank you. Thank you. Right. These are yeah, very thing. nice girls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. What makes her your type? Uh, I want to say, I could just. It's just I could tell, you know. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not saying no. Nah, she's pretty. Thank you. Know? Okay. Thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age. This is the Somali My girl. name is Mary. I'm 34 years old. Okay. And what do you do? I'm a hairstylist and a makeup artist. So why did you end up popping your balloon? It was just the hair for me. Ah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> What's wrong with this hair? I don't know. It just doesn't look done. Um, the hairline, you know, I just like somebody who looks clean, very, you know, put together, and I feel like. Are you fucking serious? 
His hair is not clean. What the fuck is wrong with you, bruh? We already know. Okay, we already know this bitch finna piss us off today. Oh, my Lord. Okay. You gotta compliment me as well, so, yeah. Now, is she someone that's your type? Uh... <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, uh... Uh, yeah, she's my like type. That. Yeah, nah, okay. she... You, you hesitated a bit. Why'd you hesitate? Nah, I mean, nah, Because what I said? No, no, I can line you up, you know? I'm hey. <laughs> nah, nah, hey, she's... Since I'm late by myself! All right, thank you. Let's go on to our next lady. Your name and age? Hi, I'm Zola Stone, and I'm 31. Okay. And Zola, what do you do? I'm a recording artist and a traveling exotic dancer. So the truck driving doesn't bother me at all. So why'd you end up popping your balloon? <laughs> no, I love the cross on your neck. You know, got faith right here. I saw that. Um, it's just you're in Houston. I'm in L.A. And I really don't want to do long distance anymore. I got you. You know, but I travel as well. But it's just, yeah, the truck driving. She travels, so she's an exotic dancer all over the place. That's insane. I mean, Come on. it's, it's going to be a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's lonely, right? Yeah, that's why I'm yeah. on here. <laughs> yeah. But no, nah, no, nah, I understand. I mean, we, we do got a bad rep, too, so I, I, can't, I no, can't fault you. No, I mean, I'm a traveling exotic dancer, so it's yeah. like I'm traveling alone, too, and I have a bad rep. That's all. Not really, I mean. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm sorry. So now, is she someone that's your type? Uh... Don't be mad at me. <laughs> nah. Okay. Why not? Just had to. Yeah. It's too much. Nah, see, I'm cool with body, but face out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I know. I okay. get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, though. Lyrics. What's going over Shout here? Out. Let's start with Shout your out. name and age. Briante, uh, 27. Oh. And what do you do? R&B singer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so why did you end up popping your balloon? What, bro? It's the style. Yeah. What do you actually do? But the way she talking though, oh she, oh, brillante, brillante, si, si, me like it, si, you feel me? But what do you actually do? You're not an R&B artist, because if you're an actual artist, you'd be making money. I feel like if you'd be making money, you'd not be here, I feel like. You know, um, it's just style, you know? Okay. Everything you do is perfect, from the games to the working to everything you do is perfect, but um, it's just the style for me. It's cool. I got you. It's not you. <laughs> <laughs> now she's someone that's your type? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she got it. She got it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Let's head on back. So we do still have, ooh, four balloons left unpopped. Hey. I'm going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. Okay. I'm going to have you ask these ladies a question, help you narrow it down, see who's more your type. All right. Uh... Where you see yourself in two years? Two years, okay. We'll start with your name and age. My name is Jojo and I'm 30. And Jojo, what do you do? I'm a counselor and a professional dancer. So where do you see yourself in two years? Professional dancer? In two like, years, what type of dancer, um, like? I'll definitely still be in my career. Um, hopefully in a relationship uh, in two years and um, you know, reaching more goals, being successful, still doing what I wanna do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Your I'll answer. Is. I'll answer. I'm looking for a girl. You're 30 years old and you're not even talking about building a life. You're a waste of sperm. Hi, my name is Darian and I'm 26. Darian, what do you do? I'm a social media manager. I don't have a cut. Nice. And where do you see yourself in two years? So two years, I hope to further my career. I hope to work in something maybe a little bit more corporate. Um, but also I'm letting God take the lead on that as well. And I hope to be married in two years. So, and I hope to be a homeowner as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beautiful goals. You All see, right. that's more like Your it. name and age? Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Um, Deja Marie, what do you do? I'm a finance manager. Okay. And to answer this question, what, where do you see yourself in two years? Um, I would see myself continuing to grow professionally. I've been working my way through a variety of um, positions within the financial industry. Um, so I see myself continuing to grow and advance there and hopefully be in a long-term committed yeah, relationship here, working yeah. towards marriage. All right, thank um, you. So we've got one more down over here. The marriage answers I like. The first okay, bitch, your name and age. I don't know what she got. I'm Tanaya, I'm 27. Tanaya, what do you do? So right now I'm pursuing my master's in marriage and family therapy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Marriage and family therapy. Her marriage must be amazing then. Okay, and now where do you see yourself in two years? 
in two Jiggy, years. Jiggy, I go check my a licensed therapist. Go, um, go mother, check my a wife. Um, beautiful marriage. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's head on back. Let's head on back. Check so, my Instagram story, Jiggy. I am going to hand you a pic because it is time that you're going to have to pop one of these ladies' balloons. So let me give that over to you and just go ahead and pop one of them. Shark, I'm saying, Yep, got to pop one. Okay, why did we end up popping hers? Uh... I guess the other answers, I'm kind of, I'm sorry, the other answers, I'm kind of like, I guess in tune with them. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> and so why did you have your balloon nice pop? I just wanted to hear a little bit more about them. He's an uh, So I was just going like to uh, listen to him talk a little bit more and see what he's about. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Let's go ahead and ask another question. He seems so mesquite, bro. Uh, what's one of y'all weird traits? Oh, like something you think that's weird about you, but you how know, am I gonna be? Kind of. I'm gonna have a mixture of like trolling and serious. Yeah. Okay, let's start over here. What's one of your weird traits? Um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> a weird trait. Um, I guess it's kind of random, but I like to do like word search puzzles and stuff like that, like, like Sudoku and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's weird, maybe. <laughs> No. no. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, let's go over here. What's a weird trait? Um, I would have to say probably watching ASMR eating videos or like mukbangs, like seafood boils and stuff. <laughs> good? I don't know what that is, but you look like, <laughs> it's like people eating. Yeah, people eating like seafood boils. Like you never seen them? No. Nah. Really? Bro, nah, I, never seen I them. don't blame her though. That should be a <laughs> thing. Hey, it's weird, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we got one more. <laughs> All right, what's one of your weird traits? So a weird trait that I have, um, you know when you have a piece of gum, I yeah. split it in half because it's too much gum, so I take half of the gum and then I eat Where it. Where are you from, girl? And I save the other half. Why do I feel like she's East African? Why do I feel like she's East African? This girl, she looks like a queen. Queen energy, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's weird to me. <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay. Well, since you asked that question, I know Lee's probably wondering, what's your weird trait? Uh, well, when I'm driving, I kind of have little stories in my head and I act it out while I'm driving. Okay. Yeah, I'll be <laughs> laughing at myself and all okay. that. Oh, sorry. So you be laughing while you're driving by yourself? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, too much on the road. It's, yeah. Okay, well, we after this round, like I am going to go ahead and have pop another like... balloon. Okay. I will have to come down here. The Melanin Queen. Okay, why'd you end up popping hers? Uh, Look at the no way she's smiling. Kinda, over there. Okay. Be honest with you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All good. All right, so why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Um, I mean, I heard that he lives in Houston. That's where I live. Hey, so, um, so, yeah, I just wanted to hear more. Got it. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Okay. Oh. All right, why did we end up popping? The um, the answer you just gave just reminded me more of the like truck driving, which was the thing for me. But I was trying to hold on because you seem really nice and you look nice. Um, but yeah, it just I'm like, okay, don't just go with your first mind. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. So is she someone that is your type though? Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. she made it to the end. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Nah. She seemed like a good lady, and you know. She yeah. didn't speak nothing about Thank kids you. though. That's horrible. Any Marriage, questions for nothing. him? Yes. Do you have any children? No. No kids. Okay. Do you have any passions besides video games or hobbies that you do uh, besides video games or truck driving? I mean, the only passion I have is I want to get a lake house. It's going to be a you know nice little minute from now. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. How do you feel about cats? <sighs> yeah. I don't think my dog might like a cat. Okay. So is that like a deal breaker for you? Uh, not really. Not really. I'll make a, make a, like a. An know. exception. To make arrangements. Yeah. Yeah. Because I have a cat and she's not going anywhere. <laughs> I have a dog and he's rocking with me. Okay. Okay. Let me bring you on up here. Come on up. Come on up. Hey, good All night. Right. Your father, so, I'm going to see you, my brother. I have a question if there's no others. Okay. No? 
Uh, I do actually, okay. So about the lake house, I understand that you probably wanna own a property that's the lake house. Is it just like you wanna live there or are you trying to make something from it? Or like, what do you think? Firstly, are you religious or are you, do you yeah. believe in God? Yeah. Yeah, so what do you think, what else do you think God has called you to do? Like, is the lake house something that you're doing a business with, or do you plan to do truck driving forever? That's a good question. Because nah, I understand it's hard for a relationship. So mm -hmm. once I kind of start to get that relationship moving, I'm going to try to stay more local and kind of, you know, be there. And the lake house is, uh, one time I was with my friend at the lake house, and I just seen it, and I, I like, kind of dreamed, like, having a family there, having kids come over. Mm -hmm. you know, having my like grandson like you know sneak girls over you know go drive on the boat and take them tubing and all of that uh -huh. yeah that's why i just want that he just see bro okay. he just seemed like just a laid back cool ass nigga bro like it's just almost too cool though in my opinion like if, if my sister was asking me what do you think about this guy should i date him i would say yo he's just too cool he's too laid back like if 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 you had a problem with this nigga he'd be like I have no problem with you. And just shut you down, I feel like, in my opinion. That's the type of nigga he is. You okay? Alright. Okay, so <laughs> is it gonna be a yes for you for him? Yes. I'll oh. try it out. <laughs> is it a yes for you for her? Sure. We got a match! Woo! What the what? Take this mic and you guys can go on. Cause Arax is helping me. Oh, Fuck us so funny. Oh. Stop disrespecting my, my it up for stop disrespecting my nigga Arax. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome. What's your name? Oh, my, uh, my name is Kitty. Jeremy. Jeremy, how old are you? <laughs> Yo. I'm 34. And what do you do? <laughs> Yo, get the nigga, see? <laughs> I'm an operations manager for a global logistics Yo, you company. good, nigga? Okay, very cool. <laughs> what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, I'm a musician. I'm a writer, a songwriter, okay. uh, <laughs> poet, author, and coach. Very nice. Yeah, little ass bun too. And the nigga is not even here for real. He said. Eh. Yo, this nigga not even here with us. Uh, now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, honest women. Okay. That's number one. Uh, it's hard to find these days. Mm -hmm. um, a woman that has a relationship uh, with her spiritual father okay um and my interpretation of that is god um a woman that knows what she wants and that's focused on her goals okay now what are some of your oh deal i see it's cornrows i thought the nigga had just like fucking put like gel and just silk that bitch up like a bitch it's cornrows that makes it this shit just nigga get you a fame nigga a high top two reset my nigga reset curse uh, deal breakers are lack of accountability, mm. um, are uh, women that don't communicate with men well. Okay. So if you have like dad issues or you got a reckless mouth, it's probably not going to work. Okay. Uh, and I hate to say this, but like the last one, I hate to I have to say this is hygiene. Hygiene. Okay. Yeah. What's your preference? <laughs> All right. So I, but, okay. One thing I want to say though, right? In these dating shows on E-Dates, anything. I hate when people point out the obvious. Like, I understand if you have, like, a, a weird thing about hygiene where, like, a nigga needs to be super clean. I understand you might want to point that out. But you saying bad hygiene is a deal breaker? For what human being is bad hygiene not a deal breaker? Who the fuck would say, oh, you got bad hygiene, it's okay? Nobody would say that. Just like, oh, you're disloyal, it's okay. Like, saying things like, oh, they gotta be loyal. They gotta have good hygiene. No fucking shit, nigga. Like, I, I don't know. We have no pop balloons. So you're doing well. <laughs> so what that means, I'm gonna actually go ahead and switch it on over to you. Okay. Um, so for the first round, I am gonna have you pop mm, two balloons based off of what you're seeing so far. Who doesn't really fall into your type? Whatever it may be. So let me hand you a pick. Can I ask a question or do I have to Nah, respond? not this round, next round. <laughs> This is tough. I know. Um, <laughs> okay, sorry. and one more. <laughs> Yo, I swear the Somali girl, bro, she <laughs> she's 
she hopped on the shit and she taking this many L's. Bro, the Somali the Somali community gonna drag her, bro. I swear this video was dropped a day ago. I swear they're gonna drag her, bro. <laughs> All right, let's start with the first one you ended up popping. Okay, if we can have your name and age. My name is Miriam and I'm 34. And Miriam, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I don't know, honestly. Okay. <laughs> I think I was zoned out. Oh. <laughs> I was, no, no, seriously. Um... That's so embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. Like, even the reply from the host, oh. Bitch, you were zoned out. You like the way the nigga look. He popped on you off looks. Now you're mad trying to flip this shit talking about I don't even know why I had my balloon. You lying ass bitch. You're a liar. Um, I think I just wanted to hear more, but I, I also couldn't hear him as much. Mm. But yeah, I just wanted to hear more. Okay, so is he someone that is your type? No. Yeah. Okay, what makes him not your type? Um, He's too slim. And just, I think the hair... Um. I just don't feel like braids is like something for an older guy in his 30s. Just, I mean, just my opinion. And um, when you first came out, I, I'm a appearance person. Um, I think it was like your bottom teeth and I'm just big on teeth as well. I <laughs> so, I mean, that really was just. You look like Squidward. The fucking chin has been blowing me this whole time. If she's rude, I can be rude too. Your fucking chin been blowing me this whole time. I'll grab you by the chin, nigga. I'll grab you by the chin. It's not even a double chin. It's a long ass chin. Long ass chin. Did and yeah. You see like, right. bro, it's like, you, like if you, okay, so if you took my chin, right? And you put like clay on it, like clay on it to make it like more, my chin would look like hers. Do you see how it's excess chin? It's excess chin. It's excess amount of chin. I'm on your ass. So is uh, Miriam's. I know you end up popping her balloon. Why'd you end up popping hers? <laughs> um, not really my type. Okay. Um, it seems uh, mainly 34. I didn't. I didn't see that, but uh, I thought she was a little bit older, and so oh. that's kind of why I popped. But. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that actually must suck, bro. Real rap. I thought you were older. Oh my lord, bro. Like, that's that. Uh, that's actually sad, bro. Mikey, this nigga thinks he's the main character. Like last time he said bye in the most like, last time I forgot what he said. He said, I'm a catch all on the other one. I'm a, I'm a like, I'm a go chill or some shit like that. Like, this nigga thinks he's the main character. I swear he's not, bro. Thank you. And then you did pop one more. Let's go over here. Your name and age. Deja Marie, 33. And Deja Marie, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, I just wanted to hear you talk a little bit more to see what you were about. So is he someone that's your type? Uh, typically not. Um, but I was still wanting to know a little bit more. You know, I'm going to ask, what makes him not really your typical type? <laughs> um, I would say uh, the build. Um, I like a little bit more stocky, more um, like athletic. Um, and rough. then uh, you have a very, I love your height, though. You. I love tall guys. So I love your height. That's a plus. Um, but typically, I just like a little bit more um, build. And What's then uh, the hair. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right. So why did we end up popping Deja Marie's? Um, kind of similar answer to you gave. It's just not not usually my type. Like, I mean, you're beautiful though. Thank like, you. Yeah, no argument uh, about that. You just not usually. You seem like a nice before. guy. And I don't know if that's good or bad, cause here I am. So. <laughs> this thing cut All his right. Ass. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So for the next round, you can go ahead and ask a question now. Cool. Um. <laughs> Do any of you have children? Okay, I think we have one down there. Okay. Children, How many right? children? Okay, let's go down there. Why okay, let's start with your name question. and age. Briante, 27. Okay, and then I think he wanted to know, how many kids do you have? One. One, okay. I was asking because that's kind of my limit. Like, 
Oh, okay. <laughs> I appreciate just that. One. Just one. Okay. Just one. Okay. So it's not a deal breaker. No, no, it's not a deal breaker. Okay. Yeah, one is my one is my limit. So Got it. I appreciate All right. that. The back. <laughs> okay, so we have one that has a child. Out of child. Out of Any other, other questions? Maybe um, three. Hmm. Even an ATL is trying Ooh. to make it happen. Okay, we'll still ask, and then we'll go. Okay. All right. All right. Why, Why are you a popping question? <laughs> look! 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 He's asked what? Chance. Um, yeah. Why are you single? Hmm. Oh. Okay. We'll still ask, and then we'll go. Okay. All right. All Nigga, right. why is that a popping question? Why is that a popping question? <laughs> yeah. <the> truth. Let's, <laughs> let's start here then. Your name and age, and why are you single? My name is Misha, and I'm 27. Um. The reason that I'm single is because I have done a really good job of figuring out what I like, and I feel like I'm at the age right now where hey, I Mikey, can't no, do it, and I do know what I want. Um, I think my earlier years, I was having fun, figuring out everything, and now it's like kind of all keen in, I'm focused, I know what I want at this point. You know you're hungry when you're hitting- have one more unpopped. <laughs> and uh, why are you single? I think I'm single because <laughs> Um, I tend to pick the wrong men. Um, I do go for more bad boys, and um, that's why you're a single baby. Everything mama. you're not probably supposed to go for, but uh, I like to take a little risk. But look at you now, yeah, single I think baby I'm gonna mama. Go out of my element now. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we did get a few pops when you asked why are you single. Let's start right here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. And I popped just because, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm single because just being in the entertainment industry is, is just tough. You know, why I'm a recording artist and then the I'm an exotic dancer on the side. Um, not a main thing, kind of too old. My body hurts at this point. So it's, it's not an every day. But it's a lot of perks it's that come with fucking with an exotic dancer, though. That's real rap, you nigga. Know, but. Uh, That's real, nigga. You probably won't like that, so. Okay. So you popped because you think he wouldn't like it. Just, it just like reminded me like. Literally just never. in the industry. I hate, bro, I hate non-confident bitches. Literally, the, the last pop the balloon we watched too, there was this one nigga that was short, right? He kept popping the balloon, saying, you probably don't fuck with short niggas. Get your sad ass on! Get your sad ass on then! Bro, get your depressed ass, not confident ass, in the fucking insecure ass on, nigga! We ain't trying to get none of that shit. It's so tough. I don't know. So, is she someone that is your type, though? Um... Probably not generally, but I did like your answer. So um, I you appreciate can't leave you and, like authenticity. I've seen her. more about you than I did at that particular Just time. Just love the so, stream. Um, like if we met, like yeah, I would talk to her. Yeah, absolutely. And you're gorgeous, by the way. So thank you. No, you too, <laughs> handsome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, you're good, girl. You popped. You popped. <laughs> All right. Name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Shana, and I'm 30. Um, you are handsome. Time, You're definitely my type. I just did not like the question. I feel like when men ask that sometimes, they're trying to find something wrong. Um, and I'm single because I'm single. I haven't met the person. I just didn't like the question. Fair enough. My rebuttal to that is okay. I was more so asking to see if there was any accountability or self-evaluation that you were like willing to present in this conversation. Any vulnerability you was willing to give me in this small fair space. Fair enough too. Um, but I, I can like both points are very like fair. Like her, like why are you single? Why? Well, what do you mean? Why are you single? Are you trying to like say like, you know, like blah blah? You know what I'm saying? But him still like. He's asking, why are you single to see like, okay, maybe were you not looking for a relationship for this long or, or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you have any problems that you want to take self accountability before? Like he said, so I feel like it's both. For you can see how that can become like our same aggressive. And I'm a very accountable person. Yeah. Um, every relationship that I've been in, I've always taken the time to kind of step back and see areas that I can improve. 
Um, but it just didn't work out, you know. I just I just didn't like the question, but I do, do appreciate, Fair you know. Enough. And you're very handsome, so yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, and now is she someone that's your type? Um, yeah, like yeah, generally. Um, she has a great smile, seems like she's authentic and genuine. Um, so yeah, I would say so. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay, name and age and why I ended up popping. I'm JoJo and I'm 30. Um, so I popped, I don't think it's a bad question, but I don't necessarily like the question either. Um, it definitely um, gave me like, to see like, is there something wrong with me, which is why I'm single. Um, Cause I feel like that's kind of <laughs> what most men get at. Cause I have, um, Mary, I don't think it was a that? bad question. It's just, yeah, it was that. Otherwise, okay. yeah. So is he someone that is your type apart from that question? I like his height and complexion. You look nice. Okay. <laughs> and now is she someone that's your type? Yeah. Yeah, she's beautiful. Your eyes, complexion. Yeah. Thank Seem you. very nice. Authentic. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay, so we do have two beautiful ladies left. Any other questions you want to ask them? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you had an unlimited bank account, uh, somebody wrote you a blank check, to do whatever you wanted to do with it, what would you do? Mm -hmm. Great question. Start over here. <laughs> um, I would probably, I, because I played sports, um, volleyball, so I would probably do a nonprofit for um, you know kids who don't have the ability to get to college and stuff, and kind of create something so they can have the ability to go to college, get the right funding, get the right you know um, mentorship and stuff like that. Um, so that's what I would do for them. Really big with kids, so. <laughs> okay. Let's go on over here. Okay, if you want to go ahead and answer his question. Um, I would say first off, I would take care of my family and um, start a business, of course, and start a business for, with my family as well. So the question is, you got all the money in the fucking world, unlimited money. And what you're doing is starting a business. What is wrong up here, bro? Like, what is wrong? If the if the, the money is unlimited, what is what is the business for? It's to generate money. If the money is unlimited, what you need to fucking what you need the business for? Nonprofit makes sense. Donations make sense. No, that's what I'm saying. So you start a non-profit. Why are you starting a business to generate more money, even though you got all the money in the world? So you need to now use that money for non-profits, for literally homeless people, donations and stuff like that. And like making the world a better place. You feel me? Because you can make the world a better place with a business, but why does your business need to be profitable? Why not a non-profit, you know what I'm saying, organization? And significant other, of course. Um, yeah, I kind of like keep the generational, generational like foundation going. So, okay. Okay. all right, ladies, any questions for him? Do you have? Oh, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> do you have children? I do not. Okay. All right, that was, uh, okay. <laughs> any questions over here? Do you like to have fun? Like, are you spontaneous? Absolutely. Do you like to go outside That's the only go reason to the I'm beach here. at night or something? Like, I love long walks on the beach. I said at night. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. I just like a fun person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, we'll be back for you then. <laughs> okay, why did we end up popping? Um, I, I ended up popping my balloon just because... Um, the connection, um, I did want to actually get to hear you and no more stuff, but at the end, I just wasn't feeling the connection at the end of it, but very handsome and you got yourself going. Thank you. Okay. Okay, okay let's go on down here. Are you a family person? Like, Absolutely. do you like to go to other people, like your significant other's family? And are you um, act actually, um, do you interact? Or you just sit there and- I'm the uncle with the slides on at the barbecue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. She's gonna say, <laughs> okay, let me bring you on up. Come up. <laughs> yes, girl. <laughs> okay. Hey, my nigga, you winning. You winning. I'm proud of you, nigga. So I'm really feeling the vibe. So, you know, I have my final question if there's no others. Okay. So, is it gonna be a yes for you for him? 
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're a porn star. Is... You're a porn star. You're a porn star. You're a porn star. I don't know. I wouldn't cuff this bitch because it's like. No, no, I wouldn't cuff this bitch. I, you just not. It's not something you cuff. I don't know, bro. It just gives me like, bro. You're too seductive. You know. Is it a yes for you for her? Absolutely. We got a man. I don't need water. I'll take this. Y'all going off. Yeah. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. She was a dancer once in her life. I guarantee you she was a once a stripper. She was once a stripper. The cheetah prince. The walk. Yeah, I can't, bro. Y'all going off, yeah! She would have me rock. I mean, like I said, I would love to take that down. I would love to. My honor, right? But you just can't cuff that. She is. She not the type to just settle down with one man. I feel like no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go ahead We're and bring out our love. next single guy. Yeah. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Uh, my name is uh, James Moore. Oh, James, what do you do? Uh, I work in salt. <laughs> Yo, this nigga. This nigga. <laughs> Offer an IT right now. Okay, and how old are you? 35. 35, very nice. All right, uh, what are some things I like to do for fun? Uh, hang out with friends. Um, I kind of am into gaming, so okay. a little bit of that. Uh, I do wake music music production um i'm pretty spontaneous so uh lately this year i went um to thailand for two months mm. uh yeah so i'm pretty open to like doing fun stuff but just kind of kicking back taking it easy i okay. do like to work out a lot so fitness is a thing for me got it yeah. uh what are some things to look for in a woman um pretty much just chill down the earth um kind nice kind of a just is herself really involved in what she um, wants to do for career-wise work, like, you know, has something she's passionate about mm -hmm. um, as well. I kind of find that that kind of motivates me about the things that I'm passionate about as well. Okay. So, yeah, off Got the top it. of my head, I could think that's what it would be. Uh, and what are some deal breakers? RFP <sighs> Nick, deal breakers. No um, <laughs> so, I would say kids, but the thing is, I'm not against kids because I have homegirls and friends that have children. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is for me is that the girl that I get together with, um, I want to have a family with, so I kind of want to start from the beginning. This is body yaddy yaddy to you? You fucking... Yo, this is body yaddy to you? Yo, Satex, you're fucking cornball. So that's probably the reason why I would mention that. Okay. And then someone that's kind of just honestly like not not kind, mm. I think is kind of the things I could really mention. So Okay. Yeah. All so. right, so we did get a pop down there. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. All right, we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. And uh, Zola Stone, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I feel like we have a lot in common. You know, I do music as well. I'm a recording artist. But I feel like you probably want a girl that's more, like, clean. clean why, are you, why are you assuming that? Why are you assuming? And I'm just more edgier. <laughs> you know, you probably want the clean, classy look. I'm into the tats, and, just just looking at your appearance, so <laughs> you're kind of what I like, just just saying. I don't know, I just kind of yeah. figured, oh, he's probably not going to like the face tats on me, or... Well, I know, don't like this made girl, you, What made you think that? He's just so, like, clean, like, perfect. I have, I have tattoos <laughs> like, as well. Very... Maybe too strict, I don't know. I might be too <laughs> free while... <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I don't know. That's the vibe I get, like, he yeah. wanted classy, clean... And uh, Savvy was I'm also goody. a traveling exotic dancer, so okay. probably not gonna like that. All right, all right, I feel you on that. I get that. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> why she keeps saying you're probably not gonna like that? Like let him make the decision. Yeah, you got the creative there, and I'm super creative, but I might right. be too wild. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, so I know before you were like, yeah, I like the it's, tattoos, it's all that. Much. So is she someone that's your type? Um, uh, everything's cool. The last part. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm cool. I'm good on that. I'm good on that. No judgment, though, but... No, yeah. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Why is this so zoomed in now? 
<laughs> okay, let's go over here. Your name and age. Briante, uh, 27. Okay. And why'd you end up popping your balloon? Even her voice, like, she doesn't sound like a real person. Like, Briante, 27. She just, like, she's, she, she sounds like she's in consistent, in consistent pursuit to try to make your dick hard. Real rough. I have a beautiful son, so, no, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, is she someone that's your type? A beautiful yeah, she son. definitely she got be a my son. type. She's uh, very attractive. She's, yeah. she's a mom. I like, I like the color of the dress you and are everything. Very, yeah, it's just. Yeah, my son is everything to me. How old's your son? Just to ask. Um, he's seven. Okay. Yeah. Um, single mom, so you know, I don't deal with no drama or nothing. It's just me and him. So, you know, we are like we're packaged. So if somebody doesn't accept him, then they don't get me. Mm. So yeah. I totally understand. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Let's head on back. We did get she a pop right on over vibes. here. Your name and age. My name is Misha, and I'm 27. Okay. And Misha, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I just physically wasn't attracted. Um, you are a good-looking man, no doubt about that. It's just I just wasn't physically attracted, and I didn't see um, the myself, good looking you know, matching with you. Um, that's my opinion. A little too short for you? No, it's not even the shortness. Like, it, I don't think you're short, though, <laughs> so okay. I'm wearing heels right now. Okay. But um, just like, you know, your outfit and stuff, it just wasn't my vibe, so okay. that's it. Okay. Now, she's someone that's your type? Uh, she, she, she was cute, but probably not someone I would really go for, honestly. And why not? Um, man, <laughs> uh, just, just not my type. Yeah, yeah mm. I, don't, I can't, yeah. You can't pinpoint it? I can't pinpoint, I can't pinpoint <laughs> okay. it. Okay, all right, I guess we'll, we'll let it slide. Things, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> let, let it slide, let it slide, let's go. <laughs> okay, your name and age? I'm Shayna, and I'm 30. Okay, and Shayna, why did you end up popping your balloon? So you are very handsome, but physically... Just not my type, and oh, the outfits. Too. Very handsome. Yeah. What What are you into physically? Am I, I want to know. I don't know. I don't see myself with you. Like when I saw you, there wasn't like I'm no kind of connection. Yeah. Um, but you are good looking. Like. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. He's trying Appreciate to figure it. out. Is it something specific? Yeah, I want to know like what what right. kind of men are you mm -hmm. into? Like what, what what turns you on? What gets you excited? <laughs> now can we get on that? Now? Just when I saw you, I didn't feel any kind of connection. Okay. Um, but. Yeah, I swear, like. There was like there was a way we draw faces in Ethiopia, right? We would write letters and then we would connect the letter. It's just you know like when you just draw the nose and then just like this, that's just like his chin too, like it's hanging and shit like that. Like gang like oh You're know, like, good looking so. Alright, thank you. Alright, right, we'll let it we'll let it slide. Yeah, well yeah, see we'll we let, let you slide one, yeah. that's one slide. <laughs> your name and age. I'm Jojo and I'm thirty. Okay. And Jojo, why did you pop your balloon? Uh, the attraction just wasn't there. I like that you're into fitness because uh, I am too. But um, as I was just looking, I was like, no, the, yeah. just the attraction. Okay. okay. That's cool. All right. Now she's someone that's your type. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, your eyes are very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I like the ink as well too, and the, okay. the dress. So, yeah, mm -hmm. probably would be someone I would, I would uh, choose. Yeah. Cool. Would like to get you know know you more, but just off appearance, that yeah, I probably would choose her. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so we do still have three balloons left unpopped. Yeah, the top I'm gonna go ahead and the have you ask insane. these ladies a question, just to help you narrow it down. See Somali more of your girl, type. Somali girl mm. likes them. All right. Um, what do you feel like has been a very positive attribute, and the men that you've dated that has been kind of like something that's been brought up over time? Okay, let's Good start question. over here. Your name and age, and the answer to his question. Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. And do you mean a positive attribute within myself or within the partners I typically choose? Yeah, your personality. My personality. Um, I would say I'm very understanding. I'm very caring. Um, I'm very loyal and supportive. Um, I have a good ear to listen, and um, I care about my partner's emotional well-being. So that's always been a positive in my past relationships. I like that. I like that. She doesn't Go seem over real. Here. I feel like Name, age, and the answer to this question. My name is Miriam. I'm 34. What was the question again? Because I didn't hear it. I'll rephrase it. So basically, like, what's like a positive attribute of um, that you've had people tell you uh, from like, the people that you've dated um, consistently, like about you that they've liked something about like how you are? Um, I pour into the person I'm dating. Um, 
I feel like I help them elevate as well, so that helps me elevate in a sense, if that makes sense. Um, I hear accent, though. I hear accent. Like, is there, like, where, where do y'all think she's from? Yeah, the girl, the, my favorite girl, the baddest one is the girl in the pink, but the girl with the sun. She's bad as shit, bro. I'm nice. <laughs> I, I mean, I really don't know. I feel like they really don't say it. It's just more through actions. Um... It's never like, oh, well, you do this, I don't you do that, and I like this, I like question. that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Thank you. And then we got one more. All right, your name and age and the answer to this question. Hi, I'm Tanaya. I'm 27. Um, I would say a positive attribute from past partners is that I'm naturally genuine um, and nurturing. Um, I do have um, an ear to listen to. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but, um... So I'm not even, like, the energy type of nigga. Like, I'm not even the type of nigga to say, like, the energy, blah, blah. This girl, she gives off, like, queen, like, pure energy. Like, she gives off, like, genuine, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know the belly there. You feel me? That shit really, like, is that shit gonna leave a mark. This one. When she takes it off, there's gonna be, like, the mark is gonna be there. But it's just like her aura, though. Like, she just seems like genuine and nice, you know? Yeah, and then I always smile. And I think that's a really positive attribute. She not going to let you hit? Past right, partners bro. would say. I always smile. Cool. She looked like she always smiles. That's what I'm saying. So I am going to hand you a pick. You are going to have to pop one of these ladies' balloons. Just based off of what you've heard, what you've seen, all that good stuff. So let me hand that over. Mikey, shut your lame ass up. Nigga. There you go. He gonna pop the Somali pop girl. One of theirs. She, he gonna pop the Somali girl. This is horrible. <laughs> uh, don't take offense. Don't take offense. Somali girl, I told you. Okay, why did we end up popping hers? She seems like a really nice person, but just just not my speed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now you did have your balloon unpopped for him. Why so? Um, I just wanted to hear more, like. Physically, I wasn't attractive, but I'm learning to not look at the physical. So I just wanted to kind of hear more. What the fuck is wrong but with her? Booty man. Bro, she's talking about originally I wasn't attracted to you, but like I'm learning not to look at the physical aspect. What the fuck? Hey, that's a diss, nigga. I'm biting back. Word two. I'm Bahamas. That's what I'm Bahamas, nigga. I would rave, nigga. Straight up, nigga. She said that shit to her Bahamas, nigga. So it's okay. <laughs> All right. It worked out. <laughs> okay, let's head on back. Okay, let me see here. I'm going to have you ask the ladies a question, and then I'll have them ask you a question. Okay. Um, man, we have a question I'm going to think about. Give me a second. Okay, let's have them ask you then, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, ask me. ladies, any questions? Down there? Okay, let's start down here. So what are your long term goals like with the next couple of years? What do you see yourself at? Um, continue working, uh, investing, kind of like really setting money aside. Um, in the long run, I want to like live abroad. So possibly buy properties in Asia, Mexico, um, invest in businesses. I kind of want to open like a laundromat up. I'm kind of really wanting to just kind of get up like residual income. Okay. Um, that sort of thing, really. That's kind of like in the forefront. And of course, meet someone that I could kind of establish a relationship with and uh, start a family. Yeah. Okay. What would that look like in in the midst of all that? Because that seems like that's a lot for. I don't think it's too much. I think you're going to work and just, you know, money comes in time. So you can mm -hmm. allocate finances and just do what you need to do and then meet that person and kind of build upon that and get to know them and, you know, go in the right direction that, you know, hopefully they're both you both are on the same page. So, okay. yeah, that's kind of how I see it. Okay. Yeah. That's my question. All right. <laughs> Okay, any questions over here? Um, yes. I swear he are does you, I swear How he do you does. feel about long distance relationships or where are you where do you live? I stay in LA right now, Los Angeles. Uh I've never done a long distance relationship, so I'm fifty fifty about it. I don't know if I can give a yes or no, but I feel like if it's the right person, I think that yeah, it's probably worthwhile. Yeah. And where are you? I know you say he's LA. I'm in Wisconsin. Okay. So we would be right away. I've, I've never been to Wisconsin. Actually, I think I have been once to like a Wendy's or something like that. <laughs> I was like 15. 
<laughs> but I haven't really been in Wisconsin. I've never been to LA either, so. Oh, you gotta, you gotta come to LA. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, if you're ready to pop, you can pop. Or if you have another question, you can ask the ladies another question. Um, what do you ladies look for in a guy? Like, what, what are you looking for? What's the situation? Okay. I'm looking for someone that's, that's um, ready think, to be committed in a committed I relationship. I don't want to waste time anymore. I'm 33, money, so I don't money. want Way to was good. interact with situationships that are just going to pass the time. I want something more long term where I can get to know someone on a deeper level um, and really build that friendship to where we can work towards, you know, a marriage or starting our own family. Um, I just don't want to deal with anyone if they're just to pass the time. And I would hope someone is ready to commit in that way as well, or at least work towards that type of commitment. Fox, y'all niggas old as shit. Y'all better, I'm everybody sorry. better be it's looking for a here. commitment. So I'm looking for someone that I can build with, um, someone that I can call my best friend, but also my lover. Um, also someone that is committed and that wants a family and wants marriage, because family is everything to me. I swear chat her aura her personality like the vibe she gives off i really fuck with she looks pregnant chat no bullshit because i don't want to look like i'm dick sucking i don't want to look like i'm dick sucking her so i gotta say some bad too so she look like she's three months pregnant still the her aura though her personality like her values in life really align with mine like you know what i'm saying like she she like i fuck with her so I want somebody that's really grounded in that and grounded in faith. It doesn't have to be a certain denomination, but have to believe in something. Okay. Sounds good. All right, it's time to pop. Gotta pop one of their balloons. I'm not 5'10", bitch ass thing. This is hard. I know, I know, they're amazing ladies. <laughs> My toothpick. You lost it. W investment. Right, okay, um, there we go. <laughs> I can't make a decision. Yes, honestly. you can. <laughs> no, no, I, no, I can't. No, I can't. Um, that's just a turn off. If I was a girl, if I was a girl, that's a fucking turn off. I'm popping my shit. Real rap, nigga. On current, nigga. Ah, uh, Melanin Queen. Oh, oh, oh. oh. You're childish ass. Oh, that just cringed me out. You're childish ass, nigga. Hey, can I get an ace check on this nigga? I forgot how old he was. Hey, I forgot how old he was. Can I get a, bro, can I get an ace check on this nigga? Lame ass nigga. Oh my gosh, bro. Ick, for real, on... <laughs> Ick, if I was the dark-skinned girl, I'd pop my shit. This is what he did, bro. Can y'all pay attention to the video? Ephraim and fucking Satex, the fuck? Are y'all zoned out watching the video? Lock in, nigga. He's 35? Yeah, act like, look. Act your age, look. Oh, oh. You're a lame, oh. like... Oh, oh my right. god. <laughs> So why do we end up popping hers? I saw it was really, really, really tough. So what made you decide? Honestly, it was really, really tough. I, I think you both are great. I think all the ladies are actually pretty great. Um, I wish I could have a little more time to get to know you. Um, your response on the last question I felt was kind of rushed. And I, I get what you were saying. Because mm -hmm. um, time is like really important. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of why the reason was. Uh, I felt she was a little more calm and matter about it. You mean like rushing to a relationship or rush in what regard? Just the energy, like I get what you were saying, but mm -hmm. I felt like it was real kind of like, just like, man, we gotta like do this now, you know? Okay. So, yeah. Okay, all right, thank you. Let's come on up here, come on up, come on up. Queen, you could do better than them, I swear you can. All right, so I have a final question, if you guys are all good. No. Oh, no way. No, you can go, you can go. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> is it gonna be a yes for you for him? Yes. Uh, is it a yes for you Queen. for her? Yeah. We got Queen. You can do better. Queen, uh, look at him. Uh, I swear, I swear you could do better. Melanin Queen. Not a match. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll take this mic, and you guys can go on off. Uh, 
Look. Yes, give it up for them. Uh, oh. Uh, what the fuck? He cuffed that shit. Yeah. <laughs> The height difference is fucking insane. I can never fuck with a bitch way taller than me like that. That would make me feel so small, bro. <laughs> yeah. Hey, word two, she can't be taller than me in heels. She could be the same height in heels, but okay, never taller Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Okay, an inch taller than me. What the fuck? Welcome in. Yeah. What's your cool. name? Hello, my name is Pointer. Pointer, how old are you? Nah. I'm 30. Okay, and what Not do you do? Real. I am a talk show host and an educator. Okay, very cool. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? I love to do the three E's. I like to eat, I like to exercise, and I like entertainment. I like to be entertained. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what is your name? Most important woman. Most importantly, uh, you have to love Jesus. Mm. I love Jesus. Um, and I also want a woman that's romantic. You know, um, I believe it was the prolific artist Mario that said, you should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. Ah. Y'all know that. Okay, I'm, okay, yeah. But Mario, you know. Okay. I want to Oh, Nah, he has to be playing like a role. This has to be for entertainment. Like, there has to be trolling. Is that even his her? Nah, he has to be. Nah, 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 nah. There's no way this is him. Antic right? woman. <laughs> Someone that lets me love them. Okay, uh, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers, um, poor communication. Mm -hmm. You know, I really want an effective communicator. Someone, if you're tripping, if there's a problem, let me know. You know, I'm open to communicate. And um, the, the ratchet music, mm -hmm. like excessive. I'm more Motown. I'm more old school. Yikes. I'm more Motown. You know, so I like the older music. Well, so that's that's music kind of my thing. Crazy. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right, so we did get a few pop balloons. Right. Let's go on over there, see why they ended up All popping. Right. All right. <laughs> okay, let's start with your name and age. I'm Jojo and I'm 30. Hello, Jojo. Oh, okay. Jojo, why'd you pop your balloon? Uh, at first, it was it was the look, it was the hair, <laughs> but you're it's a character. It's fun, but um, it's me. And then the the ratchet music, like I listen to Motown, and everything too, but I, I, I gotta have a little bit of everything. Okay. And ratchet okay. is on that list. <laughs> I just meant I guess someone exclusive, just mm, only only okay. ski ye. You know, that's just a little too much. Like, like give me some. But if you have the mm. variation, that's. Only that's ski, great. that's fucked, so nigga. <laughs> now, is that's Jojo real. someone that's your type? Yeah, she's a baddie. She's a baddie. She knows Thank she's you. a 10. Yeah. She's a baddie with her baddie friends. Oh, okay, never oh mind. my yeah. God. Yo, stop. This thing is not, bro. Like, he's a troll. Oh, my God. So I was trying to give you that ratchet. I was trying to give you that. You I appreciate know. that. But yes, absolutely. Thank you. Oh, Thank man. You. Man, it's one Let's feeling. Go here. You're a cook. Your name and age? I try so hard. <laughs> I thought it was wow. relevant. Didn't y'all think it was? Okay. That ain't that funny, <laughs> My name is Shayna, and I'm 30. Awesome. Okay, I love that you love the Lord. Yes. But honestly, you are way too funny for me. <laughs> I thought, don't y'all like a sense of humor? Like It's, well, it's too much. Like, too it's much. way too much. Okay. <laughs> you seem you like a nice guy. I, it's just too much for me. I understand. Thank <laughs> you, Shayna. No problem. <laughs> you know. Now, is Shayna someone that's your type? Oh, absolutely. Yes. I love the purple. Purple rain. I'm a Prince fan, so it's looking good. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go on over here. Real, Your bro. name and age. I'm Deja Marie. He I'm 33. Corbin, and Deja Marie, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, when you came out, it almost seemed like you were in costume, and I didn't like the hair piece or like the toupee or what that is. Um, but you speak very well, and you have a very nice smile. I love your teeth. Oh. Um, it's very welcoming. Um, wow. So you have a beautiful <laughs> smile. So it was wow. just. The hair was it, was. it was just the. It just seemed like you were in maybe costume or something. I, I don't see that you would go out and dress like that or maybe have I'm, that. I'm gonna switch it up for. I think that's like the perfect way I can put it. This thing it looks like he's in a costume. Like there's no way this is his real hair. For you, I can, I can vary. It, is it a hair piece? Uh, well, it it identifies as a part of me, but I switch it up just like a lot of my beautiful queens. We all go from one hairstyle to the next in like a day or two. So I like okay. to switch it up. That was it. I, I just didn't know if it was like your everyday look or if you were coming out to no, be No, I'll funny. switch it up for you. I just didn't no, like it. I, I, did, I didn't it like that. Deja Marie, I would switch it up if you need me to switch it up. If we locked in, there is switching up. Because... I like that. Okay. okay. But that was all. Okay. okay. If we no, locked in, ain't no switching up. I'm, I'm going to say yes. Uh, she's thicker than a snicker. So I think that's always, you know, a great thing. Yes. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Deja. Thank you. 
All right, your it's name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Misha and I'm 27. Um, the reason that I popped my balloon, um, I just kind of felt like it wasn't serious when you came out. It Gosh, kind of felt bro, like a, like you said, bro. kind of like a, like a show or something. I do appreciate it. You seem like a really nice man though, but I was just really trying to see the real you and I don't mm. feel like I'm getting the real you right now. Could you get it? Okay. okay, okay, okay. It's real though, I'm <laughs> real, right, I'm right. real. You know, I'm a talk show host, I educate, love the kids. I swear you, you look know, like a, bro. It's a good thing. Yeah. Hey, this nigga actually look like a talk show host. No, he look like exactly. He look exactly like a talk show host. Oh my lord, bro! I would love to see the real one though. <laughs> the real one. Okay. Now she's someone that's your type. I love her height. Yes, mm -hmm. so I'm, 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 taller is better. Normally, uh, taller children would mm -hmm. be produced. So yeah, that, that would be that'd be great. Yeah, I love the height. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Miriam. I'm 34. Um, at first, it was the overall look. Um, it was just too cheesy for me. And then, you know, as I kind of listened to him, I know you say you were big on, you know, religion and you are a Christian. Jesus. I'm a Muslim and I'm big on mm -hmm. religion as well. Okay. And I just felt like that would be a clash. And mm -hmm. you're funny, you know, and I like somebody who makes me laugh, but more like a, that's my homeboy, my little brother, cousin, mm -hmm. you know, like, yeah, dating wise, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> she remind me of the pop the balloon girl. Or am I tripping? Damn. All right. Yeah. Is uh, Miriam someone that's your type? Yes, you know, Allahu Akbar. I uh, definitely appreciate my Muslim sisters. Yo, um, excuse me, my nigga. Yo, excuse me, my nigga. Yo. It's not. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I understand. All right. Yeah. Is uh, Miriam someone that's your type? Yes, you know, Allahu Akbar. I uh, definitely appreciate my Muslim sisters. Um, yes. What country? Uh, Somalia. I'm from oh, Somalia. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Wonderful. I might have to travel there. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, like, I would hide it. Like, and this is just me being honest, right? If I was a Somali girl, right? And I have made the decision to come on a Pop the Balloon episode. Right? I know how my community is. I'm not claiming Somali, bro. I'm gonna just say I'm Ethiopian. It's believable, bro. At least you're gonna get less heat, bro. Like, I, I, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, like, genuinely, like, either I would say, like, I'm, I'm Middle, she looks Middle Eastern, or I'm in Middle East. I wouldn't claim Somalia. Like, they're dragging her through the mud in, in, on TikTok, probably, bro. She's cooked. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. It's <laughs> going over here. Your name and age. Lyrics, and somebody might you. recognize her, but they're not going to go on TikTok saying Somali girl lies about being Somali. Like. Your balloon. Briante, uh, 27. And um, this girl is like sexy. I can't take you home to my parents. <laughs> I cannot. What would the parents say? What? What's, no. I'm a good, classy Poor man. Poor family. The they whole were, family. They were clown. A clown? Uh, I'm sorry. What's I, I don't. Do I look they like Ronald? Do I look like Not Ronald? You were oh, clown. oh, they, they were clown. clown. I was. I was gonna I'm respect sorry. whatever you say. Okay. No. Why? Why would they clown me? You're not my type. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Okay. I think it, it. They think I'd probably be joking taking you there. Mm, yikes. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she's someone that's your type. Low, yeah, low key. Low key. But but still key, but low key. Oh. Like on the piano, we going from maybe why like a G to key? a A. Um. I mean, not really. Maybe the, me and her maybe have similar hair kind of situations oh, going no. on. So I kind of not a wig. Oh no, no, I'm just not a wig. no. Well, this isn't really. <laughs> host, that's what I said, host. <laughs> hey, this nigga got balls though. This nigga funny as shit. Yeah, this is not a wig. That's cap. I sure it's not her hair. Either, but I like. I like the, yours. you're still, I, still key. I'm still feeling you. I'm still feeling, but you know, B, B for baby. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go over here. <laughs> your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Tanaya. I'm 27. Um, I just can't get with the, the overall appearance popped, and oh, I just wouldn't take you serious and okay. I need someone that's serious. I like to have fun, but, mm -hmm. and be goofy, but I think it's a little too much for me. A little too much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you're handsome. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Is she someone that's your type? Stallion. Yes. 
Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Stallion. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. It this got to be like a concept. Oh, our girl that was hanging on to her balloon hanging ended on. up popping. She was hanging. She was Name hanging. an agent. Why'd you end up popping at the end? My name is Zola Stone. I'm 31. And, you know, I get it because I'm in entertainment too. But I just, I wanted to see you without the wig and the glasses. Well, these are prescription. I can't, I can't, decision. I wouldn't be able to see how beautiful you are without them. No, I have prescription too. Like, yeah. I'm I should have wore contacts. Um, I but I, I kind of figured you wouldn't want to take off your wig and your glasses and ruin the whole, like, oh, look and this is the my brand. It's my hair. But I wanted you to do that to get my final decision because, mm -hmm. like, I get it. Like, I'm you didn't even give me. You didn't have to pop. You could have been like, yo, yo, handsome. I talk knew show that man. you wouldn't do it. How did you know that about me? Because that's it's only just been, the entertainment business. It's only been seven. And you're no. not gonna ruin your look. For how good you look, there's a possibility. <laughs> But you popped you wouldn't on do me. It for me. Wow, she gonna tell me my life. <laughs> so I heard to say, you know, and then I can well, get my. Well, you, you already popped, so I'm kind of like <laughs> my my emotions. I didn't mean to pop it. But... Oh, you didn't mean to pop it. No, I just I have arthritis. Like my hands are bad, and like uh -oh. it accidentally, literally, just. Oh my God, bro. Pop. Do you want the balloon back? No. Uh, uh, if you're willing to take off your She kind of broke my glasses. heart. She kind of broke my heart. It was uh, If she hadn't have popped, I, I think you I would have. For real, I'm serious. I'm serious. You would have. Because it's not, I don't know all my beautiful queens saying it's a character. Okay. It's like this, you know, when when my baddies have wigs and weaves. We just, that's, need, that's we just need to get past this shit, bro. We just need to get past this shit, bro. Accept it. so handsome without the wig and the glasses. You that's don't what even they tell me. I would have switched it. I told the other wonderful young, I told you I would have switched it up. But okay, I'm, I ain't going to get know, this nigga out of here. Because you are you. gorgeous. I love the. You didn't ask if she's my type, Arlette. Come on, come on. Oh, because you, that's my type. You, you didn't want her to get her balloon bag. It don't matter. She has now. faith on her face. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay. All right. all right, well, that is all the balloons popped. Thank Luigi, you. thank you for coming on, giving us some thank laughs. You. Thank you. I, I was serious. Oh, but, well, okay. let's give it up for him, ladies. Thank you, ladies. I'll take thank this you. mic. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Fuck out of here, goofy ass nigga. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Hi, uh, my name is Jeremiah. Jeremiah, how old are you? I'm 34 years old. This is autistic. I'm kidding. Oh, God, forgive me. God, forgive me. God, forgive me. Oh, my God. God, forgive me, man. Why he walking like that? He walked in so fucking slow, bro. Look. Look, bro. Look. Hello. Welcome in. <laughs> What's your name? Hi. Uh, my name is Jeremiah. Jeremiah, how yes. old are you? I'm 34 years old. Okay. And what do you do? I I'm work scheme, in telecom and I'm a real estate so like... agent. Okay. Now, what are some things you like to do for fun? I feel bad. Yes. Yeah, so I like to travel. I like to travel to Mexico primarily, and uh, I would love to find someone to take with me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And now, what so are some things you look for in a woman? So, uh, so like some of my deal breakers. Oh, no. What, what do you look for in a woman? What do woman? I look for? Mm -hmm. So, someone that is very feminine, someone that is beautiful, of course, and someone that can cook. I love mm. to eat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you cook yourself? Of course. Okay. Of course. Okay. <laughs> now, what are some of your deal breakers? Some of my deal breakers. Mm -hmm. So, uh, cigarette smoking. Okay. Uh, someone that may have uh, a kid. Okay. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, we did get a few pop balloons. Okay. Let's go on over there to see why they ended right. up popping. Okay. Name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Hi, Deja. Hi. Deja, why'd you pop? Uh, the reason I popped, it was just initial attraction. Um, it wasn't there for me, and I do typically like uh, taller men, um, but you have very, very beautiful, striking eyes. You have a nice smile. Thank so you. outside of that, that was pretty much all. Thank you. I feel like no. I feel like they would look good together. These two, because the way she speaks is kind of off too. Like the way like her her persona, like something's off. So I feel like they'll be a great fit. If you ask me. So is uh, Deja Marie someone that's your type? Uh, not initially. However, uh, past the initial look, I could possibly love her personality. Okay. Yeah. So you said not initially. Is there something specific or? Uh, just a way that uh, I, I usually like a little bit darker women. Does that makes sense. My black queens. <laughs> I understand. All right. Thank you. Let's go on over here. Okay. Your name and age. 
My name is Misha, and I am 27. Um, the reason why I popped, um, I look like this nigga, like darker skin. Okay. <laughs> so, it, um, but you're beautiful. I mean, eyes are amazing. You look amazing, and I can tell you got your stuff together as well. Thank you, Misha. You Appreciate that. <laughs> now, is uh, Misha someone that's your type? Yes, oh, okay. for sure. 100%. <laughs> yeah. All right, perfect. Thank you. Let's go over here. Okay. Your name and age. Let's see what she gotta say. I know she's gonna talk shit, and I'm ready to talk shit back. My name is Miriam. I'm 34. And Miriam, why did you pop your balloon? Um, it's just the height, honestly. Okay. I think you're very handsome, but you, you have beautiful eyes. But just, just the height. Okay. I appreciate like, that. Thank he, you. He looks, he looks taller than you. Yeah. <laughs> taller than me is about six, so uh, you know, uh, like six four. Oh, so you wanna, you wanna know? climb a tree? Yeah. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got, it. I got, I got you. I got you. <laughs> all right. Now is Miriam someone that's your type? Uh, not at all. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Why? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, like I said, bro, if I was her, I would just never claim Somali. Because not only, right, you came on Pop the Balloon as a Somali girl, knowing how your community is. You went on the internet knowing how your community is. You're probably going to go home alone. And you're getting flamed by niggas. You're getting flamed. They're going to drag her through a mud on Twitter, bro. It's cooked, bro. She's cooked. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. She called him very handsome too. She said not at all, not my type. Oh my lord. Why not at all? Uh she is uh she's definitely a beautiful woman. It's just uh not initial attraction at first. Okay. Yeah. That's there. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go over here. Okay. Your name and age. That is so sad, bro. Not at all is insane. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. Okay. And Zola Stone, why did you pop your balloon? I'm not the best cook. <laughs> um, okay. And I dated a real estate agent before, and it just kind of clashed because I work more in the entertainment music industry. Okay. And so he was just kind of trying to change me in a way. So I know that I, I shouldn't, you know, judge that. Maybe try again. But... I don't know. I just don't have Talk a good with experience. Avocado. No, it's all good. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. No, she's someone that's your type? Yes, for sure. Okay. Yeah. What makes her your type? So she's uh, very beautiful. I love her eyes. And she's melanated. So that's definitely something I, I love. Melanated? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you have beautiful eyes. Too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And then we did get one more up here. Your name and age. I'm JoJo. And Talk I'm is what I was in. And JoJo, menace. why did you pop your balloon? Uh, I know he said his preference was darker skin, and so I was like, okay, I'm light skin. <laughs> but um, yeah. I, that's my preference too. So we kind of looking the, the same right now. Right. Twins. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. Eyes and everything. <laughs> you guys do like it. favor each yeah. other a lot. <laughs> Maybe related a little bit, right? <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I know we just said y'all look related, yeah. but. Is she someone that you type? My sister. Uh, <laughs> not really. I'm going to uh, say that. And uh, otherwise, beautiful eyes. Thank I love you. the hair. I love the tattoos. And she's beautiful overall. She just uh, wouldn't be my type because we do look really too similar, yeah. to be honest with you. But yeah, okay. overall, beautiful woman. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. All right. So we do what have one balloon left and popped. Any questions for our lady here? Yes. Okay. So... Uh, from your pat your last relationship, name one thing that you did wrong and one thing that he did wrong. I'm not answering that. Okay. Fair enough. I'm not gonna answer that only because we're starting off new. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, I don't wanna bring what was in the past. Okay, so this is this is this is her second time popping on a on a on a, on a self-accountability type of question. Last question was, why are you single? She popped. Why did your last relationship not work out? Basically. Right? Popped again. She cheated. That's a great point, Mikey. I didn't even think of that. That's a great point. So. That's into something I'm starting new. Mm -mm. That's fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Queen. So, uh, what were you trying to get out of that question? So to help her better understand. Uh, just trying to see where her head is at and see if, if there was like any issues I could kind of foresee mm -hmm. in, at the beginning. Okay. 
And you know, yeah. every relationship, it's both partners, you know? I'm not saying it was just me, it was just him, it was both of us. Okay. Um, but I'm not bringing something old into something new. Okay, that's fair enough. I appreciate that. You are very beautiful. Thank I would you. have loved to take you out. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> You're handsome, too. You're always <laughs> popping on these questions, girl. <laughs> hey, do you want your balloon back? I do not want my balloon back. Oh, well, look, can I ask a question before I ask? Well, let me ask a question. Is yeah. it going to lead to you getting your balloon back? It might. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, so I am a believer, and my relationship with Christ is very, very important. Yes. What religion are you? I'm Christian. Okay. And what does your relationship with Christ look like? I either, if I don't go to physical church every Sunday, I watch it on YouTube. And uh, every single Sunday, I have to get some type of intake of, uh, of Christianity. Okay. Religion. Yeah. Okay, I'll take my balloon back. I'll take it back. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I'll take it. This nigga seemed down to earth though. Like he, he set his pride aside to say like, you want your balloon back? She said no. And now that she wants his balloon back, this nigga's fucking in, like hyped. <laughs> Let's get that balloon back. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's let's continue this conversation up here. Come on up, come on up, come on up. All right, any other questions for him? Do you have any children? No children. And where do you see yourself in the next few years? I intend to retire by the age of 40 in uh, the country of Mexico and have properties all around the U.S. that are being rented out, and that passive income is going to fund our lifestyle. And where do you live? I live in Las Vegas. Okay, so I do stay in Florida. Okay. How do you feel about that? We can work things out offline and we can see how things go later on. Okay. I'm down for that. I'm down for that too. Yeah, let's get it. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we got the balloon back. Okay, so is it gonna be a yes for you for <laughs> yes? <laughs> and is it a yes for you no, for her? Right we got a match. <laughs> I'll take this and you guys can go on up. Let's give it up for them, y'all. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Uh, my name is Julius. Julius, how old are you? Yes, I'm 34. And what do you do? Uh, I mean, I'm an OTR truck driver. Okay, yes, very cool. Yes. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, for fun, man, I do a little bit of everything. I like to play pool, uh, bar hop, comedy clubs, sip and paint. Uh, skate rooms. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I know it may not look like it, but I love to eat. So <laughs> different restaurants, trying out different foods. So it seem cool. Like he seem, he seem like you know what I'm saying. He seem cool as shit. Uh, yeah. Every year I go to a different. I mean, I go to Laker games every year. So okay. uh, yeah. You know, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. Uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Oh, what I look for in a woman? Yeah, I gotta dig deep in my soul for this one. <laughs> All right, look, so I'm looking for a woman that has not given up on love. Okay. That still believe in the process, I mean, the concept of falling in love. Because, mm. you know... Uh, I feel like this guy is a very surface level guy. Right? I feel like there's no, like, substance to this thing. I feel like he's still figuring out life. He's still having fun. He's not ready to settle down. That's what I'm getting so far, in my opinion. Let's be honest, like, every relationship is not perfect. So, you know, every relationship, you have your ups and downs. So, you know, I'm looking for a woman that's going to stick around when we having our downs. Mm. You know, because, like, uh, as long as I'm not cheating on you or putting my hands on you or disrespecting you in any type of way, any disagreements we have, we can get through Never. that. So, you know, yeah, uh, I'm looking for a woman that knows how to think for herself. And, not, and, and that's, oh, I'm sorry, uh, and that's not going to... Uh, follow behind the crowd, you okay. know? That's not gonna alter her opinion just to appease the crowd. So, you know, a woman that's gonna stand no business. Uh, okay. Man, I'm looking for a woman that's genuine. <laughs> like, she's trying to interrupt him so she can, like, stop him. <laughs> she's like, okay. Okay, this nigga keep going. Okay. Look. Well, that's gonna stand no business. Uh, okay. Man, I'm looking for a woman that's genuine, you know? A woman that's kind. Okay. Loving. <laughs> now what? Are, you no, gonna keep going, huh? Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> now what are some of your deal breakers? <laughs> deal breakers. Oh, uh, I would say a woman that does not know how to take accountability. Mm. Uh, a woman that doesn't keep her house clean. Ty, I'm like, like, don't get me wrong. Like, if you got kids and your house is a little messy or stuff like that, like. That's cool if you got toys around, if you got laundry piled up or something like that, that you just ha haven't got around to doing it. Okay, that's cool. But I'm talking about like, 
if I go Don't to your bathroom and behind the sink, it, it look like it ain't been, I mean, behind the toilet, it look like it ain't been touched in months. Like, that's the deal that's breaker. Different. Like, you know, IG. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we do not have any pop balloons. Oh, we don't? No. <laughs> so I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, switch it on over to you. Mm, you know what? Let's start off with you having uh, to ask the ladies a question. Question? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like a three-in-one, maybe a four-in-one, depending <laughs> on how I work the question. But uh, how long have you been single? Uh, How long did your last relationship last? And name one thing he did wrong in that relationship and name one thing you did wrong in that relationship. Okay. We'll start here with your name and age and the answer to his questions. My name is Jojo and I'm 30. Um, my last relationship was a while ago. A while ago? Many, like, many years. Is it a time frame? Um, it was like 2016. 2016? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Golly! It's been eight years? <laughs> hey, it makes sense she don't pop the balloon like she done tried everything else probably, nigga. She don't pop the balloon, nigga. Yo, this your burden. <laughs> uh, how long did it last? How long did your last relationship last? Uh, we were together for like seven, eight months. Seven, eight months? Mm -hmm. God okay. And then one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong in that relationship. Uh, I think both of us kind of had bad communication. Bad um, communication, okay. But what ended it's it all was like ago, distance. Nigga, she don't remember we ended up moving nigga. away from each other. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. okay. All right, let's go over here. Eight Name, ago, age, nigga. and the answer to this question. Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Um, I've been single for two years now. Two. My last relationship lasted collectively about three years. We started off as friends. Um, we built a very deep friendship with each other. We became best friends and then that evolved into a romantic relationship. Gotcha. Um, the reason we ended, we just were not on the same page. I think um, we wanted to, he wanted to deal with me for quite a while, but mm -hmm. once it, we actually met, he wasn't ready to fully commit in that way. He still kind of wanted to do his own thing. Um, and at the place in my life, I want someone that's serious and committed and is wanting to settle down and build something in depth like you stated. Mm -hmm. um, so because of that, I just didn't want to pass any more time um, with something that he wasn't 100% in with. Got you. And can you name one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong? Um, I would say his lack of commitment okay. or just his lack of discipline um, because we went over what our boundaries were when we started and with us being close friends initially um, I had a clear understanding of what he was looking for I thought he had a clear understanding of what he was looking for um, but when it came down to just having that full commitment and not being able to go out and do what he wanted to do um, that wasn't sitting right with me. So I think that was the main thing that ended our relationship. Mm -hmm. um, as far as me, I think um, I would take accountability in that relationship. There were certain things I seen in our initial friendship that should have been considered red flags. And, um, you know, small things like that or going out or things he likes doing on his free time that I kind of skipped over hoping he would change. Gotcha. Um, so I would say that was probably my fault is looking at the initial red flag and following through thinking I can change him. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Your name and age and the answer to his questions. My name is Misha and I'm 27. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My last relationship was about a year ago and it did last about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna start with me. Um, something that I could have done better was let go. Um, sometimes when I'm so invested into something, I don't know how to let it go. Um, so when I had saw the signs and I had saw he wasn't interested, he they he could have stayed as long as he wanted to, but he just didn't go. But I saw he wasn't interested, so I should have let go. Um, I got a little and older. That's I hold accountability for something that he could have done better was um, don't commit to something if like I wanted marriage, um, and he kind of went along with it. And um, it just, that's not what he wanted. He wanted to go out, he wanted to party, but he wanted to kind of play um, the husband, but that's not what he wanted. So. Gotcha. Okay. Your name and age and the answer to his questions. My name is Miriam and I am 34. My last relationship, um, I think it was like 2018. I'm not sure, cause it's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, we were on and off for like 10 years. Um, the last. My trip? We were on and off for 10 years? Were you married, nigga? We were on and off for like 10 years. Um, Holy the fuck. The last two questions we were. Oh, okay, last two. Oh, you said, you said 2018? Yeah. And, and then basically, you, uh, just name one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong in that relationship. Um, 10 years, nigga? I think from I don't think it's just one thing, but the icebreaker for me was he got physical. Oh, physical, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's so that was right. like you know, like I said, we was on and off for like ten years. So when you hold on to something and you're like, okay, you're hoping for someone to change, but yeah, when it gets physical, I don't do that. So and you said he got physical. So what's one thing that you did wrong in that relationship? W. I attack back. That's one thing I think okay. I do, like, because yeah. I'm like very dominant as well. So uh, I don't I do too back. well in control. I feel like a man should know how to be a man, and right. a woman should know her place as well. But it's like I don't know how to explain it, but I think it was just more so my mouth. Like gotcha. I attack with my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So it's like if you go low, I'm gonna go lower. That, <laughs> I think that's my thing. <laughs> you know? But that's about, that's really it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Let's go to our next lady. Name, age, and the answer to his questions. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. How you doing? And I just, I didn't want to be rude, but when you asked the question, I wanted to pop already. No, go ahead. <laughs> Why are you holding your balloon? Pop. Okay. okay. Yeah. I don't know. Why we popped then? Um, because I already know you're not going to like it. You're welcome, Crow. But my last relationship was New Year's, January. So that's just. So you pop because you assumed that I wasn't going to like it? Mm. Yeah, because it's so recent. And the other women, you know, it's been a couple years. You see, like, this insecure, this insecure-ass girl, bro, it makes me so mad. Like, it's so annoying. Ah, I'm not even going to speak about it no more. No, nah, that ain't you know, no you know the healing process. It ain't <laughs> oh, so you're not healed yet? No, I am. You but are? I'm just saying, I don't know. Maybe if it were me. I don't know. That might You're exotic be a answer. problem, you know, just yeah. nah, you January can't like that. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you can't assume months. like that, yeah. Okay. I, mean, I just fine. assumed. <laughs> if you want to get know, your balloon back, you recent. could, but you don't have to assume like that. But even if you don't mind about that, that's like, so I just awkward. feel like you're such a pretty boy. <laughs> like, I get, no, like, no, you're very handsome, very sexy. Definitely not a pretty boy. But I mean, like, I just get player vibes. Player they make vibes? me nervous. Yeah, like player. I get the player. So you project it. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Okay, uh, I just got you, the player. You're an exotic dancer, popping on another on another nigga. Talk about I think you're a player, bitch. You're literally a dancer. You're literally, you're literally, you're literally, you're literally a dancer. You dance for men. Play your vibe. Amazing. Uh, I, I ain't gonna lie. If you would have said that uh, if I was in my early 20s, then you know you would have been spot on. But nah, now I'm grown. Like, you know, You're life is more serious. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's more serious for me. How so, old like, are you? Yeah, I'm 34. Oh, 35. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. That's all right, girl. That's Don't cool. worry. You popped. You Pretty popped. <laughs> That's what you all get. All right. So, after hearing those responses, you know, hearing everything they had to say, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and have you pop uh, one girl's balloon. So, let me give you a pick. Get one. There you go. Yeah. Just go ahead and pop one of theirs. Brother K, was good? How you doing, my brother? Okay, why did we end up popping hers? Uh, I ended up popping because when I asked uh, what's one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong, it was kind of basically like you led with two things that he did wrong. Facts, facts. The that's reason right. you feel like you did something wrong was because what he did. So, you know, yeah, I that's like a great point. no accountability there. Okay. So that's only the reason. Okay. <laughs> and so why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Um, initially, I like the things that you said. Um, I think we have a lot of things in common as far as what you like to do in your free time um, or a lot of things I like to do on my free time as well. Um, I think you're very well spoken. Um, I find you to be very attractive. I like your skin tone. I like your tattoos. I like how you speak. Um, you seem to know what you're looking for, and I like that. So I just wanted to hear more. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and ask. Silo, is that even a fucking question? I'm, a, I'm, I'm like, people are going to be looking for my reaction. Like, people are going to be sending it to me, like, spamming it. 
sending it saying, react, react, the pop the balloon vid is out. Are you crazy? That's the first thing. I'm, I'm be one of the first people to watch it. Ask these ladies another question. Another one, okay. Yes. Uh, it's twist, it's twist, two straight twist, Molly, but I appreciate you, my brother. Name some intangibles you will bring into a relationship. Okay. Start right on Molly, here. how you get it wrong twice, nigga? Okay, you said based Lock on... Lock in, nigga. Um, your personality, person. your character traits, you know, who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. Name some intangibles you will bring into a relationship. Um, I communicate well. Um, I, I'm also a good listener. Um, and I'm... I'm fun. I'm kind of quiet, but once uh, once you get to know me, once I get comfortable, I'm like, I have a very fun personality, and I like to go out, have fun, and I can, you know, bring good energy into the relationship, um, especially being open-minded and just being me, being trying to be, you know, like a great person, and gotcha. again with communicating and being listen, a good listener and stuff. Okay, that's cool. Let's go down here. Um, Just say a good that I would bring into the relationship. I'm very nurturing. Um, I'm always going to be your number one fan. Like, that's just how I feel. Um, that's a W trait. That's a beautiful trait, you know. Great, 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 like, great trait. Even, like, when I talk to girls, I, like, obviously, like, I... Chat, when I talk to girls, right, in the early stages, I know it's the honeymoon stage. So when they, what they say, like, the shit they say, I don't take it too serious. You feel me? Or some, <clears throat> I mean, I'm your number one fan. Like, I'm literally support everything you do, blah, blah, blah. You feel me? You laugh. <laughs> I'm always trying to make somebody laugh. So, um, and then uh, just trying to figure out you, um, trying to figure out what you want, um, mm. trying to how to make you happy is that's what I would bring to, mm. to the relationship. Okay. I'm done with these shit, though. Mm -hmm. um, I would say I'm funny. Okay. I have great communication skills. I love conversation. Um, that's one of my biggest things. So if you can't have a conversation with me, I'm just like that's just big for me. You know, we I like to talk. <laughs> so so um, I think bitch. you know, just being funny. Like I said, I'm spontaneous. Like I like to travel, um, try new things. I'm optimistic, and I'm goal oriented. So I feel like as far as what I can bring to the relationship, helping both of us with our goals and just staying, you know, on task and building, you know, future stuff. So, yeah. Okay. okay time to pop another balloon. Pop, yes, uh, sir. <laughs> I mean, you, y'all all gave great answers. Uh, right. Damn. Uh, <laughs> I feel like we'll pop the Somali okay, one. That's another one. Next round. You got to pop one. Next round. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Somali one. Yeah, I'm going to just go eat right here. Okay, why do we end up popping hers? <laughs> she's uh, going through it. It was more so on the like the first question I asked. Mm. So like she's like a little toxic. Ooh. Ooh. So yeah, she said that she he he was abusive, she was abusive. So you know, I've been in relationships like that before, and I ain't trying to double back on that. Okay. Yeah, I can understand that. I mean, that's part of growth and you know healing. So that was like six, seven years ago, six, 2018. Years. So. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and I, I respect it, you know, but I'm not toxic. You know, it takes, you. it takes <laughs> no, toxic, you know, too, no, like I said. I understand that. And I, I get it, you know, because I kind of bounce back off of him as well, so. Yeah. But no, I don't do toxic. I like my peace. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> All right, of thank course you, you got an ass on her, nigga. <laughs> okay, ladies, any questions for our guy here? Oh, you got one? Okay, sorry, let's go back. <laughs> do you have any children? I do. Okay. I'm going to have to pop. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm popping is because um. For the husband that I want, I do want to experience that um, gotcha. together. And that's something that I want both of us to have. So Okay. So, yeah, that's understandable. Very understandable. Now, is, is she someone that's your type? Yeah, she's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, she's cool. Thank you. Okay, any questions over here? Uh, a follow-up to that. Uh, Got you. How many children and how old? Uh, I have two. Uh, my son is 10 and my daughter, she'll be 8 in November. Okay. Yeah. Do you have children? I don't. You don't? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that a problem for you, a deal breaker for you? No, um, the age would have been if they were younger. Younger, okay, would have been. gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. Um, where do you see yourself in like five years? Five years? Uh, five years, I see myself owning my own trucking business mm -hmm. and uh, starting my own fleet. Uh, to be honest, like, I know we all heard about the creation of Adam and Eve. 
So I'm just looking for my missing rib. So if I find her, I could build a foundation from her, you know, get a house. And then once I get a house with her, protect, protect the house, provide for the house. No, no, know, no, no. My, this is another Somali girl. So it's just room. like, I see myself being married with somebody and just being established. So that's like my, that's like my ultimate goal. Let me have you come on up here. Come on up. Let's go that way. Let's go that okay. way. All right, guys. So I have a final question. If you guys are all good. You have a final question? Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> you know, is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. Ah, is it a yes for you for her? Absolutely. We got a match. <laughs> I'll take this mic and you guys can go on up. Let's give it up for them guys. Oh. <laughs> the host be, bro, the host be like, oh my God. The host be like, imagine bringing your prom date, um, like, you pull up to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she pulls up, and, like, you guys are in the living room getting ready to go to prom. The mom would come and be like, ah! That's what the fucking, fucking, you know, whole sound like. Thank you, everyone, for tuning into this episode. Look, imagine. Oh! <laughs> Thank you everyone for tuning into this episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. Hold on. Thank you everyone for tuning into this. Look, chat, this has to be the biggest L of the century. Like, the biggest L. Imagine, right? Being Somali, right? And hopping on a Pop the Balloon, knowing how your community is, knowing your community gonna drag you through the fucking mud. You still took on that risk and still hopped on a Pop the Balloon. And you didn't go home with nobody. Oh my. And you got flamed by niggas. Got your balloon popped by niggas. They're gonna drag her through the mud. She's cooked! Yeah, this gotta be the biggest elder century, child.